Alright guys welcome back to code online in this video we are going to upload our images or files to AWS S3 bucket so in my screen as you can see there is already one bucket whose name is random bucket 23a so in this video we are going to upload our images in this bucket okay so I've already made one view file actually front end where we can choose image so let me choose an image so this is a logo of s3 amazon s3 so i'll be uploading this image from here to our aws bucket so let's see how we can do using laravel so at first we have to go to env file and we have to enter our aws access key and secret as well as region bucket name so after entering this data you can also enter your own access key i will hide it so that you will not <laughs> use it okay so also we have to change our disk file system disk to s3 otherwise by default it is always local so we have to change it to s3 all right so so let's go to our controller at first let's go to our routes uh, here you can see I have two routes one for getting the front end which is this and one to store our file so let's go to AWS upload controller here you can see the index method is just returning a view file whereas the store method is just die and dumping the file so uh, let's see if it die or dumps or not for that let me open my upload blade where I have written code to upload so here is our upload file but you, as you can see there is no form so let, let us quickly make a form I will say form method will be post our action will be whatever we write here so I'll give it a name and call it upload to AWS alright so I can use that here using also let's not forget to type multi-part form data when whenever we are uploading file sorry and also csrf token now this must uh, submit our file and it will be received as file okay so let's see let's reload and choose our file let's upload again that AWS S3 image so as you can see the file is here so let's upload that file okay here mm. so this is our file so we'll say dollar file is equals to this okay and our file name will be dollar file get client original name get client original name so let's die and dump file name okay file name so what we have in our file name let's see so this is our file name let us make a little bit random by using time function and concatenate with our file name all right so let's upload that file our AWS file and the name will be like this okay so let's see how we can upload that so we can just do storage put we want to put in folder called images we want to put the file and our file name will be file name that's it and after it is uploaded we want to return back to our form so let's see mm, okay so there is something error so let's find out what is that 
AWS S3 V3 portability visibility converter not found. Okay, it seems all right. Just give me a second. Come back, guys, again. Uh, so the problem was that I didn't install this leak file system AWS S3 V3 package. So after I install, I think our problem has already been solved. So let's choose the file from downloads, the AWS. Okay. So let's submit that. So it has returned us back. So let's see if uh, our images is uploaded or not. So there must be images folder. Mm, yeah, there it is. And in image, there is our file. So though the name is a little bit, we can maybe save this as put file as. Let's see if it works or not. Let's see again. Let's try to upload another file from downloads. Let's uh, let us upload PHP logo. Mm, all right. Let's reload. Mm, as you can see our file is the name that we provided okay so that's how we can upload our file to AWS so that's it how that's that's very pretty simple so that's it 